Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today I'm gonna start going through <laughs> my dolls. So as I said in a previous video, I've been away for a little bit. I have still been collecting. Let's get start tackling that growing pile of dolls to review. Um, so the next part of my Monster High collection will be the Firidescent. Um, but I only have two of these. The ones in my possession are Claudine and Frankie. Now, why are these the only two in my possession? Yeah, look, I'll even put them up. Um, because I live in the UK and these only got sold in Europe or America. Why? This made no sense. So these are the two I've managed to get my hands on. I'm going to unbox these. Hopefully in the future I can get um, the other three and you can it's they've started being able to sell them on Amazon which is great so now I can get those. Um, it's just the price that they want to sell them for. But anyway let's get into it. Let's open up Claudine. She was my first one that I got let's open Claudine. Hi Frankie. So here she is packaging wise like beautiful so sorry about that glare again she's going to be tilted so you don't have the light ring. Anyway um she's part of the fluorescent collection um this is all like obviously like you said iridescent colors um but they're also like pastels um so hers is very much purple that's her main colour going through anyway. Um, but yeah, art wise, stunning, as always, it is. Um, and the one thing that gets me with the Sculpture at Secrets line, they show you some of the things that you're going to get in the artwork. Why? It's not a secret anymore. It's right there. Um, but yeah, I just. <sighs> It's just something about Claudine. Sorry, I don't know why my nose is so itchy. There's something about Claudine in this packaging that I absolutely love. Anyway, let's open her up and let's do it. So, like always, oh, I didn't show you the back. Sorry. It just literally has the other girls on there as well. So you've got Cleo, Frankie, Dracula, and Laguna. Um, Dracula is the hardest one to get. She just is. She's the most popular. So, anyway. Let's get into it. Um, I have already like pulled up or sliced the sellotape, right? And there's a reason why I'm now doing this with these ultimate secrets. So I have technically opened it already. Look how easy that just came off. But I have technically opened her already. Not these. Well, yes, these, but not these. I've opened the door just to make sure she's in there because the horror stories I've seen where people are buying the any school to but secret box and either the doll's not in there or the packaging isn't in there. That won't happen in my watch. I'm sorry, but no. Um, so I do just open it slightly, open a door, like, okay, that's in there. No chance to have like a reaction to it, just a open done anyway so do you know what box first that's what we always do so it's a new box design uh the original school to secret boxes are all like webbed with the skeleton in the middle obviously these ones have changed it's got stars and lines so it's the only way I can cracked glass that's what this looks like cracked glass um and claudine's is this pastel colour and it's got the ombre going through. Um, it's nice that one of the doors is glittered but you can see into it as well. So anyway, let's open her. <laughs> can we just appreciate Claudine? Oh that's beautiful. Okay, also the artwork on the door um, so the mirror says stay positive <laughs> and it's got the three claw marks going through um, Claudine's signature like little image 
then it is the crescent moon mirror um and then yeah it's just like it's i'd say it's like her vanity uh it's just got like her phone playing her music little accessories um shampoos things like that i want to say that's one of them I don't know if you can see that or not. This one. Because obviously, I know she's a werewolf, I get that. But I want to say that's more for Crescent. Because um, it looks like a little puppy on there. But it could be for her hair. Who knows? Um, and then jewelry on the bottom shelf. And it's a vanity. It's cute. Um, yeah, good deed. Oh. Okay, let's get her out. Let's get her out the box. So, firstly, where can you buy these dolls? I got mine off Amazon. Um, unless you're willing to travel to uh, a place in Europe that sells them. So, the Smith stores sell them. Uh, it's just now finding them in stock because they have been out a while now. So, yeah. Why? Uh, yeah, Smiths. That's where I got. Uh, no, that's not where I got them. You can get them from Smiths. I got mine from Amazon. This is the one bit that slightly annoys me. Why are there tags for her head? How annoying. Anyway, here she is, initially. Um, first thoughts, the glittered lips are just, oh, they get, there's so much glitter, the lips, the eyelids, um, hair, <sighs> boxed hair. What can, what can you say? It's just, it's a rat's nest. Um, it's shedding like there's no tomorrow, but. Um, I've seen that some people are saying they're thinly rooted on the iridescence. Um, I don't think Claudine is. Like, I'm seeing some good rows of hair. Um, she just needs, she just needs a brush out, a wash, a brush out, and she stopped shedding. <laughs> Still going. Anyway, um, yeah, her initial outfit, it's the little stars constellations on her top that's cute. Not sure about these like mesh sleeves, but the shorts, these shiny little shorts, these are cute. Um, I feel like I've seen these somewhere before, maybe in a different colour, but yeah, they're cute. Um, they've done the classic thing where, because it's been in the box, it's like riding up into, um, excuse me, clothing. It's f the shorts are folded at the bottom, it's riding up and fold it in to where the joints are so if you don't pull it out it's going to permanently fold them it's very annoying with this type of fabric eventually it's going to crinkle um over the years and it will break um shoes wise I'm loving this ombre look they've got going i know it's meant to be fur um would love if the belts were actually a different color but I've seen that people are, are DIYing that, they're painting them, so I might give that a go. Anyway, this is her. Let me grab a stand. And we will pop her in. Now, with these School to the Secrets, we do have, pop her there. It is the original, um, put the key in water, figure out what, colour it's going to turn, open up the door, I can't, I won't, I can't be bothered, you, the arm action of just shaking it so the, the, it changes colour, I don't want to, so I will do that at a laser point, so we're just going to use this same key, and we'll start from the top and work our way down, so, first bag, Clothes. We have clothes. Oh, and the kid. Okay. A cute mini skirt. 
leopard print uh t-shirt it's like galaxy with a wolf focus and then the little thr like shrug for arm thing this is also shedding fluff everywhere um however it is it is printed with moons and crescent moons so that's cute you can literally you can see that it's it's very soft like wow thank you Monster, for using that softness thank you mattel um next up mm -hmm. Okay, we have accessories. We have the headband. I'm, prob I'm sure you've pretty much seen all of these by now, but the headband, the neck choker that says howl, and I'm guessing they're meant to be fluffy earrings. I think like they are meant to be, but they're little hooped earrings. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, <laughs> that's hilarious. Next door. I have so many of these they are literally the bone of my existence i'm trying to find things to do with these but i tend to put all of the keys from all of the dolls on one i don't need any more like if you see my series one one it's packed um so but i do like the fact that it's a different color that's cute the key is okay <laughs> why isn't it us why is it not like these unless it's silver it's clear anyway shoes loves me some shoes um yeah it's okay it's a wedge it's got <laughs> the moon phases through it it's literally just been painted over the top but it's a clear and then the heel itself has an animal print going through it are they the best shoes claudine's had no they're cute but they're not the best i think the paint quality is not the best on these as well um it could do with another layer like there's a part that's just very thick white paint so no colors coming through and then there's bits that have been missed could be better but can be fixed so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna use the new one I'm predicting snaps. So that's usually how it goes with with these. It's always snaps. <laughs> oh, what a shock! Who would have thought? Um, ice cream. Cute. Okay, a little ice cream cone. The bag I do like. Okay, okay. Um, do you open? Do you look like you do? You do. You open up. Okay. Um, big, big wolf head in the middle and then star constellations. And they've even gone for this kind of uh, knuckle dust, the top handle, which again is cute. I love that style. So love that. And then we have <laughs> gel for her edges, obviously, because she needs that with a tiny little double ended brush. A little gel pot does the pot open it moved so maybe maybe it does and it is painted i love that little detail you don't have to do that it is painted but that's so cute um <laughs> um i did have like a list of questions that i was going to answer about this but that's too cute okay sorry back to where we were how much was this i paid uh, i think it was 36 pounds because she was on offer at the time so i got her a discount originally they are 39.99 if you are paying more than that do not buy it it is too much you are being overcharged 
facts <laughs> um where to buy it I, like i said i got mine from amazon um and you if you want to travel to europe somewhere in europe that sells it check the smith's website go on to their other um country sites and see if it's in stock make a holiday of it do a little adventure for the weekend she's cool i <laughs> i think she's worth it i think she's so pretty um then um you've seen what it comes with accessories wise i've unboxed her um i think quality wise it's just the hair i think mattel needs to just focus on the hair like i don't mind what the hair's made up of it's just more when when she's in the box and it's for most of their dolls the hair gets destroyed no matter how much love they put into it the hair gets destroyed um so yeah it's just i just i love her design i think the iridescent collection was such a cute little idea um and it was definitely an improvement from their first one so what do you guys think of the iridescent collection did you get it did you manage to get all of them comment down below like subscribe you know do all that usual shit follow me on instagram where i literally put photos and do little photo shoots for them so yeah i hope i guys see you guys soon bye